I'd get, I'd let off a nervous fart and give myself away. I, I don't think I'd be able to stop myself. It could even have follow through. Welcome back. We are dealing with a new setup. Get out of the way. I don't think it looks that bad. All right. I don't think it looks that bad. If you're going to start calling me Sid from Toy Story, it's actually an honor. Thank you so much. That kid was misunderstood. What we're actually going to be watching today is a cult classic, uh, home invasion movie, and it is called The Strangers. This movie is from 2008. And, uh, yeah, all I hear about this movie is, um, don't watch it while you're home alone. What do you think I'm doing today? All that aside though, including the new haircut, um, let me know what you think <laughs> of the setup, of the bloody hair. Just let me know. If you would be so kind though, please do leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, all of those things do help out the channel in the algorithm and I would really appreciate it. You can also see extended uncensored versions on Patreon. Plus you can see my videos early over there as well. Actually thinking about it, I probably look like a stranger today. <laughs> Anyways, let's not drag the intro on because you don't care. And um, uh, let's invade some personal space. What you are about to see is inspired by true events. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Not a home invasion. There are an estimated 1.4 million violent crimes in America each year. Oh, in America. In America. Kristen McKay and James Hoyt left a friend's wedding reception and returned to the Hoyt family's summer home. They shouldn't have. Where are you? What's your address? I don't know. Are you in danger? What's your name? Jordan. Oh, so we're seeing the aftermath of what happened already? Well, that, that's great. I don't need to watch the rest. There's blood on the walls. Help us. Jordan. Someone clearly dies. It's not Jordan. Relationship goals? <laughs> they haven't spoken to each other once. See, I can't fucking see anything. Turn a light on, dude. When did you do all this? Uh, today? They had a huge fight in the car, you can tell. You can have this room, I'm gonna get set up up there. This is so awkward. Maybe we are the strangers, because we ain't in love anymore. Uh, I'll tell you when I see you, but things, they didn't work out the way I, I planned. Um, I'm gonna need you to come out here and get me. What did you do? Okay, so we're at a wedding. <laughs> I don't think it's their wedding. Kristen McKay and James Hoyt left a friend's wedding reception. I just want to tell you something. What do you want to tell me? Proposal? Is- Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's like going into the Macca's car park and be like, Babe, I just had a bite out of my cheeseburger and- What the f- Will you eat the rest of this cheeseburger for me? Oh, and also, will you marry me until it's in the cheeseburger? It's really nice, everything you did. Oh, fuck. That makes the setup of the roses and everything afterwards so much worse because he was expecting a yes. Well, I mean, if this is the start of our marriage, even though it didn't happen, the only way to go is up, guys. Honestly. Hey, fucking give me a swig. <laughs> this is so awkward. I want to wear this. I only get to wear it tonight. It makes me feel pretty. You are pretty. Pretty mean for saying no and rejecting me. What do we do now? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. <laughs> what would you? What would you do? I don't even know what you'd do after a proposal rejection. Do you like go back to being classmates or like neighbors or like just regular citizens? What do you do? Oh, guys. I need to press the cringe button here. I've, I, this is a difficult watch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish to this. Huh? Ah, fuck. <laughs> finish. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish watching this. I thought we said no. Why are we fucking our husband now? Why is the door knock so bassy? Do we not have fucking lights? Turn the light on. It doesn't work. Is Tamara here? No. No, but if you know where Tamara is, can you tell her to bring a fucking light bulb? Yeah. 
Oh, oh the man. way that girl's face was framed was horrendous. I was just all black. Could we say she was doing blackface technically? She seemed okay. I mean, I think she would have said if she wasn't. Wait, 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 wait. Did she unscrew the bulb? Cut that shit out. Do not pan like that. I was thinking when you were taking a bath. I want you to take the car back tomorrow. I don't think a road trip's a good idea right now. Is there chemistry? <laughs> or am I just really confused? I don't think there's any chemistry. You would find more chemistry between a fucking ant and a piece of lettuce. Like, there's nothing here. Okay, I'll be back. You know what this guy's thinking about? He's thinking, well... This woman just rejected me. There is a perfectly good woman who just came to our door before. I'm going to go ask her to marry me instead. How much can I sell this for on eBay? I just twitched. That's <laughs> that's what that was. This is what happens when you have your movie so quiet volume wise. You can just chuck a big bang in there. It'll, oh, it'll always get me. And it's just you home alone. Hopefully it's Kevin McAllister at the door. He'll be like, hey, I've been here before. Is Tamara home? Oh, no. See, I think I was dealing with a ghost then. Did we not have that door bloody locked? Maybe we deserve it. I don't like the wide shots. Oh, it's giving me paranormal activity vibes with the, the hallway and then the two rooms at the end of the hallway, which were always setting me off. I'd be booting Minecraft up or something so fast just to distract myself. I don't even care. The flip phone. There we go. There's a weapon. You just need to close it when they come and get you. Just flick it open, hit them in the face. Just want you to come home, okay? No, I'm fine, but just, you know, hurry. I'm fine, I'm just shitting myself a little bit, you know. Well, not literally, but close. <gasps> oh my god, I can't do that. Holy fuck. That is terrifying. That looks like the scarecrow from Batman. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, the way he like just walked into frame. Oh my god. What is he doing? Why are you just standing there, man? Oh. If there is anything remotely like that again, that sliding door is getting shut. <laughs> oh, I'm so tense. That was such a good scare. There was no sound effect or anything. They just walked into frame. Oh. Hey, at least get stuck into that ice cream. You know, if you get killed, you're not going to get a second chance to eat it. Jesus Christ! The knocking has to stop, please! Everything else is too low volume-wise. I think I'm about to cry because <laughs> I'm so tense. I have one thing going for me in this scenario currently, and that is that I look like a criminal. So they might actually be scared of me. What the hell was that? That is the scarecrow. How did he get out of Arkham Asylum? I give up. I give up. Oh, what the f was that? I want to take my headphones off. I, there's too much fucking sound happening now. Stop the sound, man! Please! <laughs> Please! Who's the DJ? Because they are doing a shit job remixing that. I'm about to have a heart attack. He's not one of the killers. There's no way. How do you know there's somebody out there? I saw a man at the back door, and he's wearing a mask. What do you mean, what do you mean, like, like a ski mask? What? Like no fucking mask! mask. Okay. Scarecrow! Scarecrow! Where's the... 
Where's the girl one? There was a girl one. I had a mask, some looked like kind of Roblox. <sighs> you gotta stop with the loud noises. Not my flip phone. That thing's worth like ten dollars. Kristen, what is it? Kristen? Wasn't the girl who called on the phone named Jordan? She looks like a ghost. You want me to go talk to her? They don't want to talk. I'm gonna my phone in the car. I'm gonna go get it. You can't go out there. <laughs> this guy's a fucking moron or he's in on it. See some woman just standing out in the trees. I'm gonna go get my phone. What? No! She's gone. She must have had fast travel or something ready to go because she bolted. <gasps> this, this is feral. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I actually, at the start, I thought this was a little boring and now it's just like, I'm, it's too much. What do you want? Is Tamara home? James. James, get inside now. See, she must hear this camera stop rolling and just sprint to the next bit. I don't think he's in on it because he wouldn't have damaged his own car unless it's for insurance purposes. I think it's Dewey Riley. It's David Arquette. <sighs> Why are they? Listen, I don't want you to think about that, okay? Some people just like to torture other people. What is it? It's my phone. Oh, well, that's nice. They brought it inside for you. Who is that? Oh wait, is that the guy that was going to pick him up? He did ask for someone to come and pick him up at the house, I think. That is not the fucking guy he asked to pick him up from the house. What the hell was that? Well, that was a fun car ride. We didn't get to go anywhere, but it was fun. James, we need a gun. I'm looking. Is this the reason why America created the Second Amendment? Because if it is... I understand. Yeah, there we go. My my three kill streaks on Call of Duty are gonna come in real clutch here. Let's go to the bedroom. Babe, I'm not in the mood yet. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, 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 hello. They didn't find any toys or anything in the suitcase, right? Because that would be embarrassing. What the hell is that? Come on, dude. All that time, like, building Nerf guns as a kid has to pay off here. I can speed build that shit. I'm not sure I even know how to load it. But you said you used to hunt with your dad. No, I never did. It was no, babe. I used to hunt my dad. He gave me the gun, and then I gave him five seconds to run away. I open the door, and I just want you to run. Okay? Take that, baghead! Damn! Well, you totally missed, but good try. We're not gonna fucking die here. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna wait for the fucking cops to come or whatever. We're not gonna fucking die. How are we gonna call the police, man? Our phone lines have been cutting everything, right? But yeah, we'll wait for the police. I bet you this is the friend that was coming to pick him up. Only because uh, th they're driving relatively normally. <laughs> Jimmy James. What's up, buddy? Listen, man, I'm outside. I, I got here early. Are they gonna, like, jump him? They're just gonna appear at the window? Uh, license and registration, please. Oh, oh the, <laughs> the sound design, man. Hello? Hello. Uh, we're in trouble. This guy better yell out before he gets to the room they're in. Otherwise, <laughs> he might get shot. Turn 21 in prison, doing life without parole. At least if he dies here, though, he's dying with a bit of soul, you know? So, some banger music playing. What a way to go. 
I see that, Shadow. I see that. You're not sly. So very hard to feel <sighs> oh, I don't like the way they come into frame. I hate that. No one could steer me right, but mama tried. I don't like that mask, but I also really want that mask. Oh my god, we just shot our friend! <gasps> Holy fuck! Chris and I shot him. Oops! Why didn't you have a fucking mask? What do you mean he didn't have a mask? I need to see that again. Hello. Oh my, that's like a headshot! Oh! Oh, he, he is waking up with a sore head tomorrow. Do you think it. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Do you think the bag head one was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, that just happened? Under the mask, they're like, I did not expect that, <laughs> but that was awesome. <laughs> what? Oh God. What is it? He's dead. He's dead. Of fucking course he's dead. You just shot him in the head with a shotgun. Stop it! Stop it! I'm a murderer, Kristen. I'm gonna go to prison. <laughs> You could argue self-defense if it comes down to it. You could say, he was trying to pick me up and I didn't want to leave. <laughs> so I shot him in the head. That was crazy. That that man's last words were, hello. Where are you going? To jail. Self-admitted. I'm gonna f these clowns up. Killer. Now they're just playing mind games with them. That's evil. Hey, I have a theory and it's going to sound dumb. What if it's the bride and groom from the other wedding? Just a theory. But you may have pissed them off that much by proposing at their wedding that maybe they're coming after you now. It's absolutely not going to be that, but that would be funny. You think hiding in the leaves is going to do anything? They probably know where you are. <gasps> oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, I did not like that. The, the footsteps getting louder as they go closer. Uh -huh. I feel like James may be dead, but... Bitch, I'm having a monologue. That thing instilled so much fear in me, I forgot what I was just about to say. Oh, no, I didn't. If you guys make it through this, you probably will get married because this is a bonding experience. When they catch up to you next. Please just let me have a head start. I hurt my leg. Oh, that one's gross. That one's mask is disgusting. They have to be fast runners. They get out of there like within two milliseconds. All right, come on, grab a chainsaw. Let's Ash Williams it, get the chainsaw out, get it revving. Let's rip some deadites to shreds. Oh, my other leg. Oh. Hello, military. We need the army stat. Ground control the Major Tom. We're f***ed. <laughs> Turn around. Face the door. Face the gap. So you know if something's behind. Oh my God, it was a shadow. Jesus Christ. As... Terrifying as this movie is, I gotta say, the sound design is incredible. The way that's mixed. Oh. Well, I have no idea what half those sounds are coming from. That's why it's so unsettling. Are they in the vents? Uh, like, what are they? Hello? <gasps> that one looks a little bit like Lady Gaga a little bit. <laughs> Does it? It looks like Lady Gaga a little bit. You're gonna deal with poker face if you don't get out of there soon. It is terrifying, but it, would it be a little bit fun? Huh? It'd be like playing hide and seek as an adult. The adrenaline rush, like... Oh. <laughs> See, that's the downside, is <laughs> they look like that. I'm gonna assume James is cooking in there. 
I feel like she doesn't make it though, because at the start, wasn't the person who called up called Jordan? And her name's Kristen. I didn't even think about the power being cut. Oh my god, this is about to get so much fucking scarier. How are we feeling, Kristen? Yeah? Yeah, I'm not feeling that great. Please, please don't have... Come out of the shadows. One, one of them's just gonna walk out of the shadows, right? No? Okay, we get a little bit of warning. They're playing piano. Great. Elton John's the baghead one. He doesn't know where she is. How scary is that? Shh, shut the fuck up. Be quiet. I'd get, I'd let off a nervous fart and give myself away. I, I don't think I'd be able to stop myself. It could even have follow through. You just hear from the darkness, I'm Batman, and then just bang. <laughs> I'm about to shit my pants. I nearly had a heart attack. I just nearly had a heart attack. Are they just, are they legitimately just fucking with her? Because that's what it feels like now. Because they could have killed her so easily then, but they just jump scared her. Don't you touch my fucking ice cream, woman. Choc mint is mine. Reminded me of Bendy and the Ink Machine, if anyone knows of that game. <laughs> That's what the mask looks like. Why are you doing this to us? To us? I- I think it's just you now. <laughs> oh shit! James is still alive? You're gonna die. Okay, well they're not toying with us. That's great to know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hot, dude. Ooh, geez. Speaking of hot, how hot would they be with the bag on, on their head? That would not be fun to wear. But low-key, I do actually really want it. It's kind of it's kind of sick. It's okay, Kristen. Just think happy thoughts, all right? Happy thoughts, and it, it we'll get through this. Okay. They kept us overnight? Didn't even let us sleep? <laughs> Fuck that. Why are you doing this to us? Because you were home. I don't like that. Is that the only reason? This is why I pretend I'm never home. So then shit like this doesn't happen. <laughs> Aww. <coughs> uh. He's gonna die knowing that she would have said yes if it was any other night. <laughs> Show me. Show me the face. It was the girl who came to the door at the start. I know that for sure. It's the bride and groom from the wedding! <laughs> no. You wanna know how you realize you're dead here? because they literally showed their faces to you. If a masked person shows you their face, you aren't making it out. You can stop now, you don't have to do it. <laughs> yep, should have said yes earlier. <gasps> hey James, propose now while you can, dude. Will you marry me? Yes. No! <laughs> I don't like this. They're just fucking with them. I feel disgusting. Okay, so it wasn't them who called at the start. It was someone else. She's still breathing. She's still- look at her tummy, look at her tummy. Are you even gonna be able to get to that phone without bleeding out? Why do I feel like she's gonna die right before she gets to the phone? I don't know. Who is it? What? Who is it? No way. 
No way. He's still, he's still here. He was just waiting. Oh, she was this close, man. This close to making it out. Seriously? No way. No way. She was this close. Oh God, get on your bikes and ride. Can I have one? Are you a sinner? Only on the weekends. Sometimes. Show me their goddamn faces right now so I know who I need to look out for. Well, you know, for a movie called The Strangers, these two young kids have no fucking stranger danger at all. Doesn't matter if it's a white van offering candy or a fucking Tesla offering, you know, rechargeable petrol. You can still be killed. <laughs> They're gonna be like, we gave pamphlets to the wrong people, I think. How do you explain this one to mum and dad, boys? Like, <laughs> what do you say? knew it. I knew some dumb shit like that was going to happen. How dare you? How dare you, Brian Bertorino? You fucking idiot. <sighs> that was not fun. It was, okay, it was a little bit fun, but that was, I don't want to watch that ever again in my life. I don't even know if I locked my door before I said, <laughs> let me go check. <laughs> You will not believe this. <laughs> I did not lock my door at all. <laughs> wow, and I only realized at the end. I'm one of the statistics. I am literally one of the statistics. All right, um, well, now that we're all feeling a little bit more unwell and... <laughs> That was The Strangers. I also hope that by the end of this video that I don't feel like a stranger to you, despite my new look. Because I feel like this is what I'm going to look like from now on. And my lights and, and... Chucky, brother, what are you... Why is your hand there? Has he had his hand there the whole time? I don't do star ratings, but if I did, that is easily a 5 out of 5. Uh, that was tense. That was that was scary. I actually thought it was a little boring at the start. And then when, oh, when that ramps up, that just doesn't stop. I know there is a sequel and then there is another three sequels. <laughs> the three sequels are the ones that are coming out this year alone. But I know there's another sequel to this one. It's just, it's confusing. I don't know what this reboot, requels, fucking shit is, but I'm sick of it. It's annoying. I'm actually going to leave it there though. So please let me know your thoughts about this movie. Uh, scariest part for you. Uh, let me know what you think about the new setup, the new hair setup. I don't, whatever, I don't, whatever. Like, subscribe, comment, all those things help out immensely and uh, check out the Patreon. I'll actually be able to afford a door lock if you support me on Patreon. Anyways, this has been fun. I'm gonna go outside and touch some grass before someone comes inside and touches me. That came out way worse than it was meant to. Okay, bye.